My name is David Finney and I am a Big Fix Technical Advisor based out of Denver, Colorado. In this video, I'll be discussing installing Big Fix Relays to support more agents. Before we begin, the QR code at the bottom of the screen will prompt an email or you can see my email address there just below my name. So if there are any questions about what I cover today, I'll be happy to follow up with you. Okay, to start, basically we install relays in Big Fix in order to support additional agents and maybe lessen the load on existing relays. It does also make sense to place it logically, uh, you know, wherever it makes sense in the network. So a good example would be at the other end of a site-to-site -site VPN. If we're supporting patches on the systems on the other end, it makes a lot more sense to, say, have a relay perform all the downloads and communication pieces for the clients beneath it instead of, say, during a patching exercise, having 100 systems uh, reach through the pipe to gather its content versus one. You know, it's, it's, it's the idea of lessening the utilization of the network, but also making the communications a lot more predictable, a lot more local, uh, does a lot of benefits. But basically, to install a relay, the easiest way to do that is by uh, using your BigFix console or the web UI and searching for install relay. Uh, in the console, I usually recommend if you're going to look for it there, just going to all content, uh, fix list and tasks in the top left of your tree, and then in the search box in the top right corner, type in install relay. Uh, take the default action if you want to install it on the same pathing as the agents. Uh, if you don't want to do that, there is also alternative pathing um, that you can use. It's uh, an, an alternative send of that action. So instead of taking the default action, you'll see other options beneath that. Uh, in this slide, you'll also notice that there is a relay install task for Linux and Unix systems. It doesn't just have to be Windows systems. And basically, just send that action and wait for it to complete. After it completes, I usually do recommend taking this time to set the relay cache size using the fixlets as depicted in the slide. Simply because at the default size being one gigabyte, uh, the, and with the recent size of patching just in general, uh, one gigabyte can get swallowed up pretty easily, so I do recommend taking it up to 25 gigs uh, using one of the two fixlets that you see here. Okay, I just want to give you a quick demonstration. So, uh, in all content, fixlets and tasks, go to search install relay. See that there? There's your Linux one as well. Take action. We're just going to use the default locations for this example. Select your endpoint. Click OK. Let that uh, kind of cook. And as soon as it finishes, it is ready for use. Any problems that might be found or noticed after the install of the relay might be best troubleshot from the relay log that is depicted uh, from the screenshot here in this location. Really, other than that, I really haven't seen much in the ways of relays needing troubleshot uh, in general. But Never to never say never, and uh, so if it ever comes up, this is a good place to start your search. Um, basically looking for anything where the word error appears, uh, or anything to do with gathers or reporting issues. Uh, like I said, it doesn't come up terribly often, but that's where I'd look. Uh, ultimately, I will call out too that there is a fixlet to also uninstall the BEZ relay. Uh, the same exact way that you uh, found the install job is the exact way you'll find the uninstall job. All right, thank you for your time today and for joining me for the Installing Big Fix Relays to Support More Agents presentation. If there are any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out because we are always happy to help.